Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Stephanie. Today we are going to be reviewing the T3 Irit Duo Styling Brush, you guys. I'm going to be doing a half and half, testing one on one side, the other on the other and seeing if we like this too, if this is something that is worth the splurge. If you guys want to see how it goes, then keep on watching. take a moment here as cold as it is outside I love sitting by a window and just being in the warmth of my house but feeling the Sun and just taking a moment I can imagine I'm on a tropical island somewhere you guys I miss the warm weather so much it's like as as I get older I have like no tolerance for the cold anymore I'm like I want to be in the warmth all the day all the time is that too much to ask um you guys it is blinding me a little bit so i'm gonna have to close the window <laughs> just to be able to talk to you guys oh i don't want to do this i don't want to do this i'm sorry son sorry mr son okay that's better so you guys i am going to be today i'm going to be trying the t3 iris brush duo so let me tell you a little bit about this baby here because i ordered this back in the november the beginning of november uh before my dyson air wrap uh brush if you guys have seen that i'm gonna like talk and talk and prep you guys i'm going to be putting on this Oribe Bomb Dior Heat Styling Shield. Um, I've been loving this stuff. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I did review this uh, the first time that I tried it and really, really like it. So you guys, back to the brush. I ordered back in the beginning of November. This brush went everywhere. They made a mistake. They sent me somebody else's order, someone's flat iron, and sent this brush to someone in California. Then I had to return the brush. I mean, the flat iron, wait. Like, long story short, I didn't get this until the end of December. I think I was away. This box was like outside while we were in Miami. Um, and then I came and it's like, okay. Now I have the Dyson and it just sat there. But you guys, I want to try it. I want to compare. I also, I'm going to, this is going to be the review of this item alone, of this brush alone. But I do also want, depending on how today goes, I want to do a uh, comparison with the Dyson. Because I see a lot of, like, inspiration here that maybe T3 took on from the Dyson. It's also half, less than half of the price of the Dyson. So... If this is a better tool for some of you, then you might want to know that. But anyways, you guys, I'm going to part my hair in half. And you guys, so let me give you a little bit of information about the T3 Iron Brush. So it retails for $180. It does have, let me show you the back first. My hair is everywhere. So in the back, you have your on and off switch. This here is a cold um, shot button. It does have three speed setting and then five heat setting. And it says here, so one to three is for fine hair, three to four is medium, and four to five is for coarse hair. So you do want, it does suggest that you start with like your, um, your lowest setting within your range and then go up as needed obviously the more heat you add you give your hair the more prone to damage it is it does advise that you rough dry your hair uh 80 percent and then you choose your attachment and you style your hair so very similar in that sense to the dyson that you um you you know you do 80 percent of your hair i did write down here so the technology here uh for the t3 is an iron flow technology and it has a micro ship technology that delivers an iron enriched airstream and precise digit digi digitally controlled heat for polished freeze free results so this is supposed to be a smarter way to blow dry your hair it's supposed to control your frizz um, give you smoother hair and 
damage your hair less. So you guys, I am going to rough dry my hair 80% using my blow dryer and then we'll come back. I'm actually going to do 80, I'm gonna blow dry 80% the first side that I'm going to style and then do the other side. That way this side is not like getting completely dry and then, you know, you know what I mean. So I rough dry my this side by like 80%. Um, let me show you really quick to this. So this has a button here, a lock button that you um, press down to unlock and also to put it down. So you put it in like so and then you twist so that the two dots are in there and it's nice and secured. It does have a nice way to it. Let's see, let's see you guys. So I'm going to take a part and I did take my bangs out of the way just to style it last. Although I'm gonna have like two different uh, <laughs> styles, at least the bangs I will have to do with one brush. Going to take this piece here of hair. See how it's looking, and I'm going to turn it on first. So turn it on in the back. And then you have it automatically goes to the highest setting. So for the heat, I'm gonna start at three. For the speed, I'm gonna do three. So first impression, for just from this uh, first piece here, it does like grip the hair, um, the bristles without pulling, but you can definitely see that it's like stretching the hair. Um, it feels a lot stronger too, like, you know, like how you would have your brush and you're able to smooth out the hair um the heat doesn't burn like that setting feels like i could maybe go a little bit higher but i'm not going to because again these tools the whole purpose of them at least for me is to cause less damage to my hair if i can achieve a smoother you know nice blowout without is that necessary guys i'm recording you guys i'm just gonna continue styling this side again using this and i'll tell you what i think but so far i will say it feels comfortable it doesn't feel so heavy it does feel heavier than my dyson air wrap i'll tell you that from just this first try definitely a heavier uh body and but there are a few positives that i do want to share but let me continue and we'll we'll just go over all of that when i'm done with this half okay you guys so this is the first half so this is all dried uh using the round brush you guys first impression i love this brush like the the brush this is one of my favorite uh brushes i think that i've ever used in any like styler like this this feels quality this is not like tugging at my hair it's not getting wrapped there it's just uh detangling and smoothing and like pulling uh the hair just right it's just doing it right this you know it is a little heavier uh, but there are some pros that I can already tell you. I can easily find my uh, hand placement where I'm not pressing these buttons where I hear and not touching anything. I was able to um, just move along. I didn't mess around too much with the cold uh, buttons or this button right here is actually meant like if you want more volume in your hair and it turns off the iron um setting so the smoothing setting and it's meant to like if you want a more vol voluminous uh situation I, there's something that i would have to get used to um and also play around with to see how i can modify it and get like my the best setting but just for this first impression i left it you know with this off so the light was never on uh, meaning that i was doing it with iron on 
level three, speed three, and no cold shot at all. But this is the results. Hair is feeling smooth. There was never a point where I felt like I was frying my hair. It never smelled like burnt. Um, so far so good, you guys. So far so good. So I'm gonna press down and take off this uh, brush and then I'm gonna put uh, this one. And now this is a smoothing. So again, it goes here. Then you make sure that these two are there. This is going to be a flat, flatter style. Although here is not really giving, it's not really giving wave or anything. I didn't manipulate the brush in that way either. Also, it's a little bit too big uh, for my length. I think that to get more of a wave, um, the brush should be a little bit uh, smaller, but I'm not mad, not mad. This looks really nice and healthy and shiny. I'm going to try a rough dry 80% of this side and I'm going to start. So I'm going to start with this piece here. Turn it on. I'm going to do the same setting, you guys. So I'm going to keep it at three and uh, three for heat level and heat for speed. Okay, you guys, so this is the side with the straightening brush. And you can actually see the difference. This is more. So it feels really nice. It looks straight as if I had used a, a flat iron. I do have to say that, again, first impression, the same with this one, this quality, this feels like really great quality brush i can feel it like gripping my hair and i don't even have to although i do it i think it's like a habit that we all have that even with these stylers uh, we, we still use our other hand i don't really have to you can see like it holds on to the hair um but i i do I do feel like I have to hold the bottom for whatever reason. But the brush is like brushing through the hair. It's not tugging. It's not pulling. And I really like these sides here. These side uh, comb-like um, situation that it has. Because as I'm blow drying, I can feel that my hair is, you see, it's kind of like detangling first and then the brush smooths it out so you guys again i'm gonna just brush this whole section and then we'll look at each one and see what we think okay so here is the straight side um it did a pretty good job straightening and with the blow dryer now i am going to i switch the brush to this one here just to do the bangs this might be way too big of a brush for this but i do want to try it so the same setting okay so actually it did a pretty good job with the bangs to be honest was better than I thought it would come out. So you guys, this is the finish. Blow dried here. I'm going to quickly get dressed. I'm not doing my makeup because I am actually going to go get a facial done today. So I'll be back. This performed. I am mostly impressed by the brushes. These are really quality brushes that I can tell they're going to withstand time. Uh, with the brushes that I've tried before, the uh, brush stylers, one of the worst feature of the styler is usually the brush. Uh, they're not the best quality in most of the most affordable ones, uh, brushes I've tried. But this one is like stands out in quality and how it holds, grips the hair, um, helps me smooth out the hair, but ooh, we use it on this side but without tugging without pulling my hair's 
there's like very little i keep like pulling there wasn't like much uh hair on the brush no burnt smell any of that the heat setting felt comfortable not hot not cold it was like a perfect in between but back to the brush quality i feel that i was able to keep it at that temperature and still achieve a smooth uh finish because of the quality of the brush if the brush was a little uh, flimsy not really uh holding and smoothing the hair i probably would have had to go up on the heat which defeats the purpose you know these brushes you guys the intention for me investing in tools like this not only for myself but for my daughters is to prevent the heat we are women who love girls uh and i am a woman who i love taking care of my hair as much as i do a lot of damage to it by bleaching it but so my priority is always how to you know balance out the damage how can i help my hair retain its length and keep growing and you know healthy state and one of the main things i find is by reducing the heat and the damage that i do when styling my hair and that is why i invest in these uh tools so stay tuned you guys i will be trying this now that i tried on myself first i will be styling my daughter's hair gabby Bella. all five of us luckily uh in the blogger world this is like a dream come true for me because all five of us have different hairs some of them have thin hair uh very thick hairs we have curly hair we have different textures here and i try everything i try on my hair i try on theirs too so i'm able to give more opinions on you know if you have different hairstyles so stay tuned i will be doing like a follow-up review with this and sharing my experience using it more and also using it on my daughter's hairs and what i noticed and i will also be doing a comparison review so this or that with the dyson because i do see some you know i see some inspiration was uh, was used when when deciding on this style i do see some comparisons here and definitely the price is a big one so and i also want to generally tell you if you have this hairstyle uh hair type uh and this is what you're looking for this is your priority then which one would recommend i want to give you all those details again when we're investing our money our moolah i want to make sure that we're making educated choices and that you know we're going with what's going to best work best for our hair our lifestyle all of that needs to be considered but you guys if you haven't done so please make sure to subscribe like and comment it helps out my channel so much everything that i used here will be linked underneath and so if you guys are going to make any purchases make sure you use those links and i hope to see you on my next one bye